love is the most dangerous game of all. Glenn Close, Michelle Pfeiffer, Dangerous Liaisons, Sunday on ABC. Who cares about summer vacation? Let's talk about something really exciting. The Payless Back to School Kids Sale. Doesn't it feel good to Payless? Okay, write this down. There's going to be a quiz because no one's got more kid shoes than Payless for just $9.99. You can even get two for $18. There are sneakers, loafers, even boots that make you want to take a hike. Just $9.99, two for $18. Got it? Good. Then get to the Payless Back to School Kids Sale. How could you fail? Doesn't it feel good to Payless? Remember what Saturday night used to look like? Well, thanks to ABC, you're going to have a whole new Saturday night. Now, movies on television your kids will like, and you'll love watching, too. It's fantastic! The ABC Family Movie, starting Saturday, September 10th. Gotta sneak into the kitchen for a snack without waking Daddy. Land on a noise, and you have to press Daddy's alarm clock. Will he wake up? Back to bed. Don't wake Daddy. My Parker brother. On the next Disney Sunday movie, meet Max. I'm kind of an inventor. Meet the invention. Sky bike. The bike is flying? Does Max use his new minions to buy the admiration of his teammates and impress his dream girl? You can't buy friendship. You just gotta know where to shop. Ask Max next Sunday. The next major result to come in the Industrial Revolution came from two bicycle makers from Dayton, Ohio. That invention was the airplane. Yeah. Check this out. Now, if you all did your reading, you'll know that it was a very short flight. The reason they chose the North Carolina coast was because of its strong ocean winds. The reason for this was because they didn't use any engines in the first test. In fact, it wasn't until after the first unmanned flights were successful.
Nazis and I just might be available. One more and you win. Just aim it. Come on, you can do it. Use your ball, Max. Oh, 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 he's a fake. I knew he couldn't do it. Come on. What a jerk. What a nerd. The ball was rigged. Yeah, what's up, Max? He can't even shoot a ball. I talked to the principal this afternoon. He's at the end of his rope with you, Max. You were cheating. He wanted to suspend you for a week, but I talked him out of it this time. You have so much talent. I mean, for you to use all this time and energy in making a magnetic basket. Didn't take any time at all, Mom. It was easy. A few coats of clear metallic spray to build up the metal content. A quick depolarization to create the... Mac. I had to do it. It was important. It was cheating. It was the only way to show... somebody something. It was still wrong. Listen, you can't be somebody you're not. Be yourself. Use your imagination, but be honest. She'll notice. I didn't say it was a girl. Magical World of Disney will return after these messages. the Energizer battery. It keeps going and go. What can I get for $2.99 these days? I can get stereo equipment. Or a Big Mac extra value meal. I could get some fat gear. Or a two cheeseburger extra value meal. Now that McDonald's has four great $2.99 extra value meals, I have a choice. I can get half a pair of socks. Or a whole meal. Like a quarter pounder with cheese or a McChicken extra value meal. Four great $2.99 extra value meals to choose from. So who needs socks? At McDonald's today. Many reasons to watch the championship game of the Little League World Series, but here's the best reason. Join us live Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Before Ben Savage had his very own show, he was being saved from monsters by Fred, his big bro. Boo. In Little Monsters, tomorrow, here on ABC. Now, back to our program. You gotta hurry, Adrian, or you're gonna be late for homeroom. I know, but my arms are about to fall off. Do you have any idea how heavy this stupid thing is? Yes, but you need one of those new super lightweight jobs. Yeah, and the 1500 bucks to buy one. Ah, uh, come on, I'll push. A dollar for a chackle crisp? That's twice what they charge at the store. Then go to the store, Harvey. It's only eight convenient blocks away. I'm reminded of something my own principal told me when I was just your age. He said, Martin, you are the future of America. Well, you can just imagine the burden I felt on hearing that. <clears throat> and you know what? He was right. And so I say to you, 
you are the future of America. Which is why the local Chamber of Commerce <laughs> has decided to sponsor the Business Leaders of Tomorrow contest. Each contestant will create his own product, manufacture it, and market it. The student who sells the most will receive a trophy. So, good luck. Be aggressive, be inventive, <laughs> and be careful, Max. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity to impress Shelly. I'll go with my strengths. I'll be myself. I'm going to win this contest, Dennis. some plutonium. Oh, great. It, it was just a thought. Now, I gotta come up with something original. Real original. Oh, wow! The car suspension system was modified by installing hydraulic lifts. Now, the driver touches a button, and the front of the back end of the car raises up or down. I think it looks neat. And you're going to do the same thing on a bike? Uh, kind of. Only I'm going to use a pneumatic system instead of a hydraulic system. A air pressure instead of water pressure. What's the bottom line, Max? All right. Instead of the bike raising up off its wheels, the air pressure will actually give it a lift off the ground. The bike will fly? Uh, well, more like jump. You know how we jump our bikes over a curve? Yeah? Well, if this system works, I'll be able to jump over a car. Pedaling creates the energy that makes the air pressure that fires the piston. Uh, what's this one? Now, the light indicates when enough pressure has been built up, but the button's the fun part. You see, um, it releases the air, the pistons, they hit the ground, and the bike goes up. Right. possibility that this project might be just a little bit over your head. I know it can be done. I know it. It's just a matter of finding the right balance between the amount of air pressure and the amount of piston tension. I've got to try, Mom. Well, when's the next test? Well, after school tomorrow. I have a very safe, very dry spot picked out. Good luck. And... Please be careful. Good night, Mom. Big fella, stuck to the toaster. <laughs> Trying to fool everybody was kind of a geek move, huh? Sure it was. But it's okay. You're a geek. Geeks make geek moves. You couldn't help yourself. Yeah. Look, guys. Max has even got a, a geek bike. You know, you might be setting some kind of geek record. <laughs> you really ought to check this thing out. I'll see you guys at school. You know what I think? I think we ought to see just how well Max can stay on that bike.
the magical world of Disney will return after these messages. Well, are you going to have some? As if I had a choice. But let's just assume for a moment that by some candy-coated miracle, one could resist the cosmic spectrum huh? of colors. There is still the primal urge for milk chocolate. So true. The kind that tugs at your soul, melting your willpower bit by bit, little M by little M. Oh, wow. And you asked me if I'm going to have some? It was just a question. You and your questions. When are you going to stop asking so many questions? Sorry. Well, it's just you ask too many questions. I'm friendly. Page Dr. Barbie. Here's the doctor and her cutest patient, isn't she sweet? Dr. Barbie's gonna listen to her little heartbeats. It's really beating. Gonna give her a shot, put a bandage on her scrape, uh. gonna check out her ears. <laughs> doctor makes her feel great. Baby loves her doctor, Dr. Barbie loves her too. I'm gonna be a doctor just like you. Dr. Barbie doll comes with a baby patient and a stethoscope that makes a heartbeat sound, all not for use in some fashions. Welcome to the wildest camp ever. Are you going to be around all summer? With Michael J. Fox guiding the way. Let's go, Barney Meet nurse Nancy McKeon and cool counselor Michael J. Fox. It's the premiere of the ABC family movie, Poison Ivy, Saturday on ABC. How can I be a worthy mother when all I want is my children's cereal? Kellogg's Frosted Flakes just for kids? Brave adults say no. My wife said she'd do anything to help. Told her to get me a spoon. Now more than ever, these adults are stepping forward to admit they love that sweet, delicious crunch. My passion finally led to a marriage of convenience. He's a milkman. Come on, give in. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! Suddenly, CoverGirl introduces a whole new look of natural for your skin. New fragrance-free, clean makeup. The new makeup made for close-ups. 100% fragrance-free. Blends in so easily. Now you see it, now you don't. Even here, even close-up. And it has clean Nuxema ingredients. So good to your skin. New fragrance-free, clean makeup. Original too. Natural. Beautiful. Even close-up. Only from CoverGirl. Happy is how we quit the happy. Happy, happy meal. There's fun in everyone. Happy is how you feel. We feel happy. Works every time. <laughs> Imagine if you could explore the ocean. Look, class, a school of fish. Look, a school of children. Now you can dive into the fun with McDonald's Magic School Bus Happy Meal toys, like the Undersea Adventure Game. One toy with each Happy Meal you buy. Ready to dive? Whoever said childhood is the best part of life obviously forgot what it's like to be a child. So for all the uncelebrated victories, for all the little traumas, your kid deserves kudos. Nutritious whole grains, fortified with vitamins, iron, and calcium, lower in fat than ever. But unlike other granola, kudos also tastes great. Because sure, you want them to eat right. But why make their life harder than it already is? Tuesday, meet the Smollett. Six real life brothers and sisters in a brand new comedy. Who's been taking care of these kids? With comedian Ralph Harris as Big Brother Josh and Mama J on our own. Special preview Tuesday right after Full House here on ABC. Premiering Tuesday, September 20th, Steve's a single father trying to raise three boys. Ah! William, we gotta talk, son. Me and the boys. I know that wasn't aimed at me. Premieres Tuesday, September 20th. Now, you can buy Sleepless in Seattle, relive the laughter, and rewind the romance again and again. Buy Sleepless in Seattle today and make the magic yours forever. Now available on video cassette for $19.95 or less. Now, back to our program. You know, if we play our cards right, we could really make some bucks with this. Everyone's gonna want one. I just want to win the contest. It's more to it than the invention, Max. You have to create it, manufacture, and market it. The person who sells the most to win. But I'm not very good at selling. I know, but I am. That's why we can make a great team. You get all the credit, win the contest, and all I get is a lousy 30% of the profit. Ten. Deal. First, we'll sell stock to the kids. That'll give us the money to manufacture the first few bikes. After that, we'll use the money from the sales. What do you think? I think we better test the bike before it gets dark. What do we need to test it for? I mean, you jumped over a truck. That wasn't scientifically controlled. 
I need to calibrate various sites, recovery time, air pressure, wind pressure. I'm sorry I asked, okay? That was great. Yeah, it was. Next week, I'll meet you earlier. We'll try some of the higher fins. Okay. We better hurry. We're going to get locked in with the horses. Somebody already did. Actually, you would have gotten away clean. Except my daughter left her riding gear. Usually there's no one around here at this time of day. We didn't mean any harm, mister. Honest. Well, you don't look like robbers or vandals. So I'll tell you what. I won't say anything if you don't. Thanks, mister. Thanks a lot. I was watching you jump. Ah, that's quite a bike you've got there, huh? Where'd you get it? He made it. All by yourself? Well, I'm kind of an inventor. Well, I'm kind of a vice president. I work for a, a company called Technathon. Ever heard of them? No. Uh, no. Well, you heard of Crinko Toys? Yeah, everybody's heard of them. Technathon owns Crinko. And, uh, I bet they'd be very interested in that bike of yours. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not for sale. Not so fast. Could be worth a considerable amount of money. How much money? Well, I don't know exactly. But this just could be the opportunity of a lifetime. It's not for sale. Max, the guy is... No! Tell you what. Here's my card. You think it over. I wouldn't want you to make a mistake that you would regret the rest of your life. I built the bike to win the contest to impress Shelly, remember? I think you're losing sight of the big picture, Max. Shelly's a girl. It's not just Shelly, it's all the kids. They think I'm a loser. I gotta show them, Dennis. It's important, okay? All right, Max. I'll put the word out that you'll demonstrate the bike on Saturday morning. Oh. Well, where? The football field. You can jump the hurdle first, then do the goalpost for your big finish. But, but that's too high. What if I hit the crossbar? Possible concussion? But you'll black out with respect. For the life of me, I don't know how you do it, Jennifer. How do you survive as a single parent? One does. I don't know how. The things I have put up with Max do, you wouldn't believe it. But I do. <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. So how's it going with you? I think basically I need to be rich. Uh. Wouldn't it be nice just to be able to walk into a store and buy anything you wanted and not have to think about money? Yes, but I'll never have to worry about it because Monroe Aviation is not going to make me rich. Is everything okay? Are you kidding? It's the best job I've ever had. They're supposed to gear up for a new plane suit. He'll splurge for the overtime. Good idea. Like how? I don't know. Oh, I saw the most gorgeous dress in the winter of that little boutique on Beverly. Pink chiffon, hand painted, it's gorgeous. A fortune. A fortune, right. You know, but it's funny, even if I were rich, I don't think I'd force myself to spend that kind of money for a dress. I don't get it. Last night I've changed my mind. Besides, I can still demonstrate my bike on Saturday. Then everybody will know I would have won. Now you're using your brain. I'll call that guy and get a meeting. If I'm going to sell out, I want to get as much as I can. I'll talk to my dad. He's a financial analyst. He knows all about that stuff. Mm, the sky bike. I like it. Got kid appeal. What's the inventor like? Well, he's uh, kind of like a kid himself. He called this morning, wants to make a deal. You know, this bike could put Dutch Crinko into a third quarter profit. I don't care what you have to give away, Lyman. We need this bike. 
<laughs> he wants to be a vice president. Of research and development. Yeah, yeah but just, just for Crinko toys. <laughs> the work schedule will have to be flexible because of school. Yeah, but sometimes I can get out of last period, though, unless I have lab. <laughs> unless you have lab, of course. <laughs> and we want adjusted gross. Gross, gross. Gross. Uh, profit participation. With advances against the profit. Right. Uh, should we talk stock options now or later? No! No, please! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, how old are you boys? Twelve. Twelve? <laughs> oh, well, that's very good. I'm very impressed. I mean, it shows a great deal of imagination and spunk. But, uh, now, boys, this is not some sort of game that we're playing here. I don't think you boys realize how fortunate you are that a major corporation like Technathon is willing to take a chance with your invention. Frankly, boys, your demands are out of the question. It's nice knowing you, Mr. Lyman. Yeah. Boys, and now, boys, I'm sure we can work something out. Gee, I'd like to, Mr. Lyman, but see, we got to get going if we're going to make our meeting with Mattel. The boys? Uh, do we talk about bonuses? Yes, and the popcorn machine, and the pool table, and the jukebox. Can I get you something? Okay, I'll see you later, Max, okay? Oh, by the way, I'll have security pick up the bike this afternoon. This afternoon? Wait, Mr. Lyman, tomorrow's Saturday. I gotta show the kids how the bike works. Oh, that's out of the question. Why? The Sky Bike is top secret. If another toy company gets wind of it, they could steal the concept. Franco would never manufacture it then. But I gotta face these kids on Monday. What am I gonna tell them? Nothing. Until that sky bike reaches the stores, you can't say anything to anyone. You can't show it to anyone. To do so would be a breach of your contract, and that would cut you out of any profits. Great demonstration, Max. I'll understand. I'll hate you, but I'll understand. I couldn't desert you, Max. The only person you'd be left with is Jerry Winkleberry. Jerry Winkleberry? I'd rather be locked up. No one's talked to him since third grade. That's the price you pay for wearing a Kleenex box on your belt. <laughs> Forget about those jerks. You're a vice president now. You've got power. I don't care about being a vice president. All that stuff was your idea. Besides, I can't tell anyone about it anyway. Then why don't you invent something else? Even if I did come up with the concept, I'd have to manufacture it and market it, remember? The contest ends next week, Dennis. There's not enough time. At least you'll have your advance check. You can buy something. That's what my mom does when she's depressed. The advance check? Well, Crinko guesses how many bikes they'll sell this year. They give you your money in advance. Could be a few hundred dollars.
The lawyer said it would be the best thing to do. But, Mark, I... No one said that you can't spend some of it now. See, I put it in a savings account temporarily and arranged for you to withdraw it on your own. I know, Mom, but I did... Mac, a trust is the best way to keep your money safe for the future. But I don't want the money. You don't? I want you to have it, Mom. This is your chance. Now we have some real bucks. You've got to take advantage of it. You deserve it. That's so sweet. But now you can walk into any store you want, buy anything, and you won't even have to think about money. Conversation is starting to sound very familiar. Well, I kind of overheard you talking to your friend. Pam? What you heard were two old friends talking about what two old friends talk about. You know, things like, uh, remember when? Whatever happened to you? What if? I think you got the what if part. So? Oh, Max, everybody has fancies, but they're just fancies. This money is yours. You earned it. I wouldn't enjoy spending it. You wouldn't? That's the truth. Well, I already spent some of it. Boy, you don't waste any time, do you? What'd you get? Open it. coaching for the game tomorrow. Who's gonna help us, Max? You? Uh-uh. Him. I'd be happy to give you some pointers if that's okay. Yeah. Let me help you with that jump shot, son. Okay, now you guys got it? We're gonna keep your fingertips on the ball and let it go real relaxed. Just like a natural motion.
Mr. Lyman is trying to say is that he got out-negotiated in negotiations. The inventor of the Skybike is not only a vice president of Crinko Toys, he's also a non-voting member of the board of directors. Now, I know this is highly unusual, but it's an unusual situation. So let's make the best of it. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. My mom made me change my pants because I sat on an ice cream sandwich. So is this like a club or what? <clears throat> uh, well, Max, uh, <clears throat> the board meets uh, once a week to talk confidentially about things that are important to the companies that make up Technicon. Oh, a secret club. <clears throat> Mr. Marcus, uh, president of Zodiac Studios, was about to tell us why Star Barbarians has yet to make a profit. We made Star Barbarians? Yes, you must have liked it. Are you kidding? It stunk! I mean, if the Zygonauts could make it through Earth's atmosphere without burning up, how come Jupiter Jones could destroy all their pods with a cruddy flamethrower? <coughs> Did I say something wrong? Uh, uh, why don't we just move on to the Magic Hole report? Uh, Magic Hole is a new hairspray manufactured by another one of our companies. Have you ever heard of Magic Hole, young man? Oh, yeah, sure. It's the stuff in the black and orange can that looks like the bug killer with the dead roach on it. <laughs> I'd hardly call it a bug killer. <clears throat> oh, my mom thought so. She sprayed the whole can under the sink. She said she'd never buy it again. <laughs> Uh, Bob, uh, <clears throat> you wanted to talk about the Monroe plant, hmm? Yes. Thanks, John. The uh, cost analysis on the DT-101 shows only a 5% profit for the entire year. Therefore, it's my recommendation that we shut down the plant immediately. Well, there was some talk that a nearby company was interested in the property, what? We've reached an interested party. Upon the board's recommendation, Yorko will take possession. They're very anxious to start demolition for a new parking lot. Well, I guess a vote is in order then. Hmm? But what's the VT-101? It's the fighter plane our aviation company was going to make. Mr. Braff is the president. Monroe Aviation? Mm-hmm, that's right. And we're not going to make it? If there's not enough profit in it, son. Yeah, but, but what about all those people who work at the plant? Well, I'm afraid they'll have to be laid off. But what if they don't want to? Max, I'm afraid it just doesn't work that way. They don't have any choice. It doesn't seem fair, does it? Just because we'll be making a little money instead of a ton. Well, we have to answer to the stockholders, Max. They have expectations. But the employees won't have a job. See, my mom's friend Pam works there at... This is obviously a business concept that is a little too complicated for a 12-year-old mind to understand. I understand it's not fair. How would you like your office turned into a parking lot? This is ridiculous. We can't do it, Mr. Harmon. We have to do it, John. But think of all those people. Yorko is anxious to proceed. Just think about it. <clears throat> well, if they want it that bad, they'll wait a few more days. Have an independent firm do a new profit study. We'll postpone the vote till next week. Well, what about entertainers? Springsteen, Prince, and Sidney Lauper aren't available. Madonna? I'm still trying to reach your manager. Is that what kind of getting carried away? Sure, that's what makes it so much fun. It's going to be a great party. Look, Dennis, we're spending a lot of money, and some people don't even have jobs. You can't stop now, Max. You've got Shelly and everyone else right where you want them. After tomorrow night, you can ease off and fly by on your rep. But, okay, but it's just a matter of time before my mom says something. Have you lost your mind? Well, you said I could buy some things. I was talking about a VCR, some new clothes, maybe. A new TV for your room. Not a personal appearance by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Or lunch for 200? you got to be more specific in the future, Mom. I'm not a mind reader, you know. You get smart, Max. You knew what I meant. TVs and clothes aren't going to make me any friends at school, and they're sure not going to make Shelly Myers like oh, me. Oh, so you suppose you can just buy your popularity? I did! It 
everybody likes me now. Well, I've got news for you. At the moment, you're not very popular around here. And what's left of the money is off limits right now. Fine, only I kind of already committed to this party tomorrow, and the caterer needs a deposit, and then... Uh... What, Matt? And then there's what? Madonna. Madonna. We have a call into our manager. You have lost your mind. Please, Ma, don't cancel the party. I suppose you're going to rent the Hollywood Bowl. It's a private dance club. It's already paid for. My instincts say to cancel it, Max. You never go with your instincts. Why start now? I don't know. Please, Mom. Okay, you can have your party, but without Madonna and without the caterers. You will have records and potato chips just like anyone else. You don't understand, Mom. Jimmy Wagner's having a party, too. So? He's popular, real popular. If I don't come up with some big-name entertainment, everybody will go to his. Mm -mm. This is a hard lesson, Max. You can't buy friendship. If they truly like you, they will be there. about the VT-101. I mean, we won't even have to shut down the plant. That's very interesting, Max. Why don't we talk about it at the board meeting? Well, I was thinking that we could talk about it now at... At the board meeting? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Hughes, what time does Max Baxter get out of school today? Um, well, according to the schedule his secretary gave me, it's 3 o'clock. Oh, except today he has science club right after. That lasts an hour. Uh, well, why don't you see if you can reschedule the Technophon board meeting from 5 o'clock to 3 o'clock? But he'll never be able to make it in time. I know. Uh, Mr. Braff, don't you think that we should... Miss Hughes, I think we'll get along fine without Max at the board meeting today. Dennis, I have to get there. If the board votes to close the Monroe plan, then there's no turning back. 
Another company will take it over, they'll tear it down, and all those people will lose their jobs. Ride your bike. I don't have a bike. Let's ride my bike. How am I going to get there on a... <laughs> the new profit study on the BT-101? Unfortunately, yes. Proceed. I see those figures, Bob. Surely, John. probably right. I guess there's no use in postponing the inevitable. All those in favor of selling the Monroe plant to Yorko Industries? No! We can still make the BT-101 and make a lot of money! A lot of money! Stockholders 
customers are going to be very happy with a 30% profit margin. Don't you, Bob? Oh, I wouldn't know. Ask Matt. <laughs> Today, he is one of their own vice presidents, and he is also our very own Max Baxter. Congratulations, Max. Hello, 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 Max.